One thing I don't get about this dungeon is it's supposed to be super hot in here, right? I mean, this is the fire temple after all. And Link would obviously need his Goron tunic to survive the heat. But what I don't understand is that despite the fact that we're in this blazing hot temple inside of a volcano, is that we take off our heat resistant tunic, is that we're, we're completely fine. Like, that doesn't make sense at all. And what, it make, what makes even less sense is that in some rooms we, we're, we actually do need our heat resistant tunics to survive, even though every room should be the same in this in this dungeon, since it should have the same, you know, air flows and stuff, and whatever. It, why am I questioning the logistics of the game? Hey everybody, it's the Master 14 Welcome back to more of The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. In the last episode, we made it a bit way through the Fire Temple, and saved some of the Gorons from Valagia's Wrath. In this episode, we're going to be continue we're going to continue doing what I just said that we were doing in the last episode. So let's get playing. Over here, we have some new enemies. These are called Fire Slugs. I probably should have probably should have checked their name to make sure that that was the correct name. But anyways, they're actually the only enemies in the game, or at least I think. Maybe it's one of the only enemies in the game that you can't kill in one hit. Because what you actually need to do in order to kill them is that you need to, um... You first need to extinguish their fire by hitting them once, and then the damage that you do is actually, um, on your second hit. Up here, we have a fire burning around this these uh, these metal grates and they're not melting it they're not melting the grates somehow and down there as you may have seen there's a crystal switch and as you can probably guess that puts out the fire now you can try to launch a bomb down there which is the intended way to do that however I actually discovered a little cheat a little cheat or not really cheat but cheap way to do this if you shoot the switch with an arrow or your hook shot, you actually have just enough time to run back up the uh, the little ledge and run back over here. That you can just narrowly escape the fire before it reignites. Pretty simple, huh? I mean, it's more it's easier than using the bombs because you can actually see where you're aiming. And now. We're in what I like to call the Indiana Jones room. Because of all the boulders that are rolling around. Oh. <laughs> I like how as soon as I got, hit, I got hit by a boulder, it started rolling back the other way, and I started running back, like, towards it. I was, like, running towards the boulders. And as you can hear, there's a gold sculpture nearby. And if you hit this wall, it makes a plink sound to, take it to show that it can be blown up. And also... Uh, I, I don't think I can show right here, but if you put the camera just right, yeah, you can actually see that there's a room on the other side. Oh. Come on, let's do a jump attack to do this. And then we'll backflip and collect the thing with our feet. Oh! Screw you, boulder! Anyways, we go over here. And we have another little dungeon hallway. Yo. I kind of like how the fire temple is like... Yeah, I kind of actually do like how the fire temple is more of a dungeon because it's the, uh... It's, it's where, it's where Valvagia was sealed up. But why would, why would there be a need for all these other, uh... All these other prison cells. Is it, was this a prison at one point? Interesting. Anyways, as you might be able to read, I'm not exactly sure that. Actually, I'm pretty certain that all my viewers can read. But as you just read, the, uh, you can actually spin. You can actually uh, swing your sword or roll to put out a fire if you are on fire. Ow. I'm hitting, like, all the boulders. Oh, come on. I thought I was gonna get hit again. 
Oh. Ah. Uh -huh. I knew there was something over here. I was I was just checking like is there something over here? I knew there was something. Because I knew that there was another key. In this temple, there are doors that fall down when you try to open them. When one of these doors falls, move. You must use a sample of the Goron's special crop. You can break it. Interesting. And as you can probably guess at this point, this, this chest contains another small key. You know, if there, why did the Gorons look in the chests to see if there were keys in there? Because if there were small keys in that ch in those chests, then the Gorons probably could have used them to escape from their cells. And also, if every small key looks the same, why can't it only be used in one door? Why can't Link just take it out and use it in multiple? Anyways, you need to be very careful not to fall down here, because if you fall down, I'm going to try to get a good view. Oh! You don't, don't use the bomb. You'll actually fall down to the room where, um, where, where all the lava was. Where, um, the big room on the first floor with all the lava. Yeah, you know that room. Oh! If you want to, you can try to risk it and go for the, um, for those hearts over there. Kind of risky, but I still went for it and it paid off. We shoot an arrow at that eyeball, like you always do. And that door there opens. Oh. Uh. I don't like this. Like, I genuinely don't like that part of the temple where you have to, where you have to like, navigate through the, um, through the things. And you can probably guess what this is going to be. If it, if you guess the map, you got it right. And I'm pretty sure in this room, like I said at the beginning of the video, there are some rooms where you can't survive without the tunic. Yeah. In rooms where there are lava, you can't survive without the, um, without the Goron tunic. Now, that would make one think that Link just can't survive in rooms with lava, but there were tons of rooms with lava in Dodongo's cavern, and Link survived easily. I'm taking this really slow because I don't want to have to, um, I don't want to have to go back up here. Like, from the very bottom room. Oh! Don't jump in the lava. Thankfully, Link has fireproof boots or something. Maybe, maybe, maybe the fireproof boots came with the tunic, I don't know. We jump on here, and now a literal wall of fire is going to chase us through this room. And some of the fire isn't melting all the grates and stuff, but whatever. And now we can get up here. And by the way, we're actually in the same room where we got the, uh, where we actually got the map. So interesting. And then you'll see for a second. Oh, don't pick up a, don't pick up a bomb. Stop picking up bombs! There we go. You can see now he's flying up there, and when that happens, you, you know that you need to play the Scarecrow's song. And since his body's made of wood, by the way, thanks, buddy, for, uh, for letting us hookshot onto your body, we obviously need to hookshot onto him. Hey! And now we can hook shot onto that thing over there. And somehow this is a working elevator, despite the fact that there's nothing suspending it in the air. It's literally just floating. We can get up here. Why are you sweating, Link? This is in a room that's super hot. And up here, by the way, this isn't a required room that I'm going to, since you need to know the Scarecrow song and not everyone learns it.
There's another gold skeletal up here. Oh, I swear I hit it. And nothing leads over there, but there is something up right above here. You go up here. And we're actually on like one of the top floors of the dungeon. If we go to uh, the map, we're on like floor five, and the only things on floor five are like two giant pillars. So that's a fourth gold skull so token. There's only one left. We press down the switch, and that causes the fire to go out there. Now we need a hook shot onto this target since apparently. Oh. <laughs> I thought I was going to like keep falling down forever. That that was that was strange. That has never happened to me, by the way. Um, we can try to press the switch again since you can, you know, press it an infinite amount of times and keep trying again. Oh, come on, we can make it. So now that we make it to the chest, the timer stops, and the reward is 200 rupees. Not exactly something I would recommend going for, because if you just want the gold skull shell token, you, you can already get those. But I honestly wouldn't recommend going for that, since the game honestly just showers you with money, and there's not that many good places to spend it. Anyways, that's all I, that, that's all that we can really get up here, so let's head back down to the actual part of the dungeon that we have to do. I know I am Ow. Okay, at least I didn't fall back down to like all the way on the ground, because then we would have had to go through that entire fire segment again. What is it, Navi? Link, I hear Goron voices down below. How can you hear, how can you, how can you hear bo Goron voices down below? They're way far down there, and I, even though there's a crack in here, there's no way you'd be able to hear them. But there are Gorons down below. So I will give you that. Hey, that was a perfectly timed spin at the end of the I'm not, I'm not good at talking, am I? And now this is the room that we were in before, but now we've saved the Goron. Here's a tip for rescuing me. Somewhere in this temple, you're sure to meet up with, with a creature that dances they attack. Arrows won't hurt them. Looks like you might need some of the Goron's special crop. That's all I have to tell you. So dancing fire creatures and bombs are the only things that can hurt them. And obviously in this chest we have another key. Pretty simple, by the way. It, not by the way, it's pretty simple by now. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if you've watched my videos for a long time, you don't, you, you guys know that I don't speak very well. Also, yeah, as you can see in this upskirts shot, Link's, Link's legs aren't actually connected to his torso. So, um, yeah. Also, how dare you respawn? How dare you respawn? And now I think we can jump over here and then over here and that'll open the cage over there and thank god it's not time what the heck screw you boulder screw you that was a perfectly timed jump, and you just decided to come in and screw everything up. Oh great, we have to do this balancing act again. There we go. I get so, I just get so nervous doing that. And then we have to do the fire thing. 
And there's a locked door over there that I could unlock, but there's nothing that we can get over there yet because we need the other key. And screw you! Ugh. Things aren't going my way right now. Let's try the, um... Yeah, I, I feel like I should cast Furore's win because I don't feel confident in me getting all the way over there again. You know, just in case that I get that I get screwed over by another boulder, I don't want to. I don't want to lose all that progress. And I immediately got my magic back. That's that's cool. So now I can just walk right over here. Wait, is there even a Goron in that cage? I swear, right now it looks like there's nothing in there. Oh no! No! Oh come on! Get up there! Okay, apparently the Goron just up and left. That is, that is very strange. And that sucks because there was a really funny scene of the Goron like walking out of the cage and he just like walks in midair. Like, I swear, that was, so, that would be so funny to watch. Yeah, whatever. We at least got the other key, so now we can continue on. And now I might as well just dispel the warp point because we don't need it anymore. And the fire still continues from this direction. Great. Ah! I just barely dodged you that time. I don't think we need to go up here. Oh, no, no! Shoot. Shoot. Well, looks like we're going to have to go back in the other way. All right, um, that was, that was bad. So now we have to go back in this way so we can have another chance to have the fire barrier stopping us. Things just haven't been going my way today. Wait, I thought we were going to make it all the way past without, without activating the fire, but apparently you can't do that. Screw you! I hate everything in this dungeon right now. Oh wait, the fire barrier sounds if it hits you. No wait, no it doesn't. I hate things right now. No, it just hit me. Yay, we teleported up. Jeez, I've never failed that so much. Is this is this an actual door? I don't trust anything anymore. Well, now we've made it into this, and I guess this is a good area to end things off. Anyways, next time on the Legend of Zelda: Ocarina of Time, we're going to be continuing through the Fire Temple and hopefully not failing as much as we did this today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you can, like, comment, um, and subscribe because that would really help out the channel. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> you thought you'd get me while I was doing my outro. That was too smart. But anyways, that's all for this video. McMaster out. <laughs>